Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews. Today is a special edition because we're not taking a look at a running shoe, we're taking a look at some recovery footwear. I guess we'll call this Ryan's Recovery Reviews. Here we go. This is the Ufos Original Sandal. It's a lightweight recovery day flip-flop that's been incredibly popular, so I thought I would give it a try. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. It's my new favorite flip-flop. The Ufos Sandal is made entirely from the same kind of material, the top straps, the midsole, outsole, it's all that same kind of foam. And to my best guess, it looks like an injected molded setup, so it's all just one piece of that same kind of foam. Provides a very seamless, consistent feel, which is part of the reason I really enjoyed this shoe. As far as the fit goes, it was true to size, and it was actually really happy with how well my foot connected into this flip-flop and the big reason for that is these top straps are made of that same foam material that the rest of the flip-flop is however they stay relatively consistent and are relatively sturdy for a flip-flop plus they're slightly more narrow so it is kind of hard to get your foot into the shoe not like anything super difficult but compared to like a regular flip-flop it takes a little bit more effort however that extra effort in my mind is worth it because i feel much more connected and much more secure where my foot doesn't feel like it's constantly sliding out now the other thing i'll say is too it's a slightly more narrow experience compared to like something like a hoka recovery flip-flop which i have tried those before i actually have them right here. So if you take a look at it, it is a slightly more narrow experience and I have a regular size foot or at least if it's true to size for most shoes, flip flops, whatever, um, maybe slightly more narrow, but true to size nonetheless. And this fit really well. So if you have a wider foot, I might go in a different direction, but if you typically fit into the regular sizing conventions, I think this will work very well and you really do feel very connected. And the other piece too, is you have a little bit more of a concave experience in the heel. So your foot isn't really sliding all over the place. So the concave, concave caveness if that's even a word <laughs> in the heel and then the sturdiness of the straps which are a little bit more narrow um, combined with that top kind of place where your toes can kind of wrap around gives you a really secure experience into these flip flops and it was part of the reason I like them so much. The other thing I'll say is you do get a little bit of arch support on the medial side there's a slight bump there it's nothing too intrusive but it is definitely noticeable. Moving on to the outsole, this again is the same material as the rest of the flip flop that soft gummy like foam which for me, it worked really well in normal conditions. You do have some sliding when it gets a little bit wet out, but in my experience, most flip-flops kind of do that, especially if there's no rubber on the outsole. The other thing I'll say is I'm noticing a good bit of wear in the forefoot because it is an exposed foam, and I've had these for about a month. So we'll see how that durability continues. Um, but for the most part, I was really happy with it. The only other thing I'll say is it is kind of pared down from the midsole profile. So if you look at it from the top and you look at it from the bottom, you'll notice that the ground contact area is gonna be slightly brought in. Now, as far as performance goes or anything like that, I really didn't notice it, just kind of felt like a normal shoe, um, but you will have a little bit less ground contact. So overall, the Ufos Original Sandal is now my new favorite recovery flip-flop, mainly because of the foam. Whatever material they're using here, the soft, gummy-like texture has a little bit of bounce to it, just feels super amazing on foot. So unlike any other flip-flop I've tried. just feels very nice, so I highly recommend you at least try it on, see if you like it. And then the fit for me was the other big plus because I have a slightly more narrow foot. Uh, it just hugged my foot very well. I've had issues where my heel kind of pops out. This kind of comes further back, so your foot is just kind of locked in and doesn't slide out over the place. The straps are very robust, very durable. It feels very nice. And then the material that sits between your toes was also very pleasant. A lot of times with flip-flops, it's like a piece of rope string or something that just isn't as comfortable. But here, it feels, you have, like, it feels like you have a piece of foam between your toes. No blisters, no anything like that. Now, the one thing I will say that I do wish maybe they'll change is maybe add some more foam in the toe box area, the front of the shoe. You get a very pleasant experience through the heel to midfoot, but then as soon as you get to this top section, it just kind of levels off, which I get they're doing that for kind of how the shoe is supposed to have like a, maybe like a mini rocker effect or is how it, it's supposed to kind of roll forward, but I would just appreciate maybe just a little bit more padding in that forefront section. So maybe on a different version or a V2, or I know this is the original, so you really can't change it, but maybe in an updated iteration, here. I wish they would give you maybe a little bit more cushion in that toe box section. Well, that concludes the review. Let me know down in the comments what other slides, recovery flip-flops, or any other kind of recovery footwear I should check out. So far, these have been my favorite, but I'm always open to new suggestions. Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.